This is BBC One Southwest. And now, Christopher Slade and Juliet Morris with Spotlight. Countryside under threat, a new report warns that rural life could vanish if we don't plan properly. As train services grind to a halt with the national rail strike, the post office resorts to the road. And the Cornish pupils who are helping the environment and making a tidy profit. Good evening. The future of rural communities has come under scrutiny today in two separate reports. We've been looking at both and start with a new document from the Countryside Commission which has stressed the need for careful planning to protect Britain's rural environment. A good scheme and one keenly undertaken it would seem. Craig, do you recycle all your weather forecasts? Yes, but they're generally a bit soggy. You've only got four, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Three of those we don't want to hear. <laughs> They're getting at me. They think that we use the same one every night. Well, it is changing a bit. We've got a frontal system strung out east-west across central Ireland and Wales, and overnight it will head southwards. It'll finally clear the region around midday tomorrow. I say around midday tomorrow because it's by no means sure. As I said, it's moving erratically. But at the moment, we've got quite a bit of rain drizzle around this evening, hill fog as well. And then as we go through the night, we'll find the rain becoming heavier, more persistent, the fog becoming more widespread. Even Good old Dean. Well, if you're watching, I hope you have a terrific party, birthday or not. And an inquiring mind. I like that. A very inquiring mind. And what's more, he looks like he's a future Argyle player, Yeah, they'll too. be signing him up soon. All the best to you. We'll see you tomorrow evening at 6.30 for more news. Until then, good, good night. night.